your homies and homets, and welcome to Beast Mode Training Camp. First episode of Ag's Beast Mode. This is pretty much like Ag's POG show, if you're familiar with it, but this is called the Ag's Beast Mode Show. And we're going to jump it off with two people today, two special guests. And um, before we begin, I want to let you know, any disrespectful punk ass comments will get you blocked up in this bitch, man. Keep it respectful. These people were kind enough to send us videos for your viewing pleasure. Let's give them some respect and keep it trolling away. You want to troll? Save it for tomorrow's video. Don't troll this video. This video is for you. This video is for the people. Let's respect the people. Also, if you want to be on the show, you have a question that you want asked by me, uh, email is going to be askbeastmode at hotmail.com. Send your videos, men, women, uh, dogs, cats, whoever want a video question asked, answered, please email me immediately because I want to keep this show rolling at least once every two weeks. Maybe even more if I get a shitload of videos. Okay, that's all I got to say. Let's go ahead and get the first clip. Here you go. What's going on, Chris? Really nice to be talking with you right now. And I also want to congratulate you on starting your brand new channel. I'm sure it's going to be a success. But let's jump straight into the question. So my question is, what do you think about the If It Fits Your Macros diet? And I know you're already saying, man, I, I follow it. I do it. You know, what's, what's, what's there to answer? But my question is, I notice when a lot of people go on that diet, if it fits your macros, they tend to eat a lot of unhealthy processed foods. And of course, you know, when I'm looking at your diet, you also follow if it fits your macros. But of course, when, when I notice you uploading videos and I follow you on Instagram and you post these pictures up, there's, you usually eat, you know, whole foods, real foods. You know, you, you tend to, you know, steer away from, uh, processed and, uh, prepackaged food. So I, I was just wondering what's, What's your say on that? You know, because a lot of people say you, you don't, you no longer have to, you know, eat clean anymore. You can just eat, you know, anything as long as if it, if it fits your macros. And I just see a lot of people now, you know, of course, the famous, you know, they're eating a lot of pop tarts now. They're, a lot of people are eating donuts and, you know, they're just eating anything they can if it fits their macros. So if they have enough fats for the day or enough carbs for the day, they're, you know, they're consuming it. So I just wanted your opinion on it. And being that, you know, you have meal plans and you sell meal plans. Are your meal plans, you know, do you do you include a lot of uh, processed foods or do you recommend people eat whole foods and, you know, real foods and maybe, you know, on the occasional cheat day, maybe they have processed foods? And and I really ask this question because um, a lot of people always ask me about, you know, if it fits your macros and if it's the right way to go. And I'm biased, you know, I usually tell people to eat clean because in, in my opinion, I feel in the long run eating, you know, those harmful foods, you know, you may still drop weight or whatnot, but in the long run, you know, your your heart won't be as, as healthy and just, you know, your your, your body as, as a whole isn't going to, you know, perform as optimally, um, as optimal as, as possible. So that's my question, you know, what do you think about it? Uh, does if it fits your macros, give you, you know, the free range to just eat anything as long as it fits in, within your carbs, proteins, and fats. But other than that, man, I wish you the best. And uh, I just want to hear what, what you got to say on this. All right, buddy. Take care. And I do lift, by the way. There you go. All right, my brother. First and foremost, let me um, say thank you for sending your video in. Really helps me out a lot because without guys like you, I can't do the show. Believe it or not, there are a lot of shy people out there. You know what I'm saying? That I want their face show. So thanks a lot for sending your video. And um, let me go ahead and answer your question. He wants to know my uh, take on infant fisher macros. Uh, to, 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 to give you my opinion without rambling, talking too long, making this video an hour long, I can go forever about this topic. Uh, I'm just going to say like this. If fisher macros is an awesome diet. Um, I wouldn't call it a diet. It's an abbreviation. It's, it's more of a way of life than a diet. If Fish Macros is great, um, it actually changed my life. You wouldn't believe uh, how many dates I've canceled. You wouldn't, you wouldn't believe how many parties I refused to go to because I didn't feel like packing my meals because I felt like I couldn't stick with my diet. You know what I mean? Even Fish Macros give people like myself a way to go out and be social but still stick with my diet and still keep making gains without fucking up my diet. You know, So I would say If Fish Macros is awesome. However, people give it a bad name, especially on Instagram, especially on Facebook, and especially on YouTube. People are given the constant misconception that if it fits your macros means you can eat whatever the fuck you want to eat as long as you hit your protein, carbs, and fats. And that cannot be any more farther from the truth. 
people follow if it's your macros with, with total disregard for micronutrients. Micronutrients may not sound like a big deal, but it is a huge deal. How do you think your skin stays healthy? How do you think your teeth stay white? How do you think your blood work stays right? Blood goes through like, the whole body, through all your uh, That shit pumping your muscles up, that is blood. Got to take care of the blood. Everything. Micronutrients take care of all of that. You know, people uh, they take, they do this inefficient macro shit with total disregard for micronutrients. Got to take care of your body, inside and out. You know, also fiber. Fiber is very important. Now, I don't want to talk too long, like I said. Maybe I'll do more videos on this in the near future. But Google it. Fiber is highly important. People disregard the powerful effects of fiber during dieting. It will actually cut your net calories down, which will help you burn more fat. So you definitely need to keep that in consideration. So with that said, unless you're dieting on like 300 grams of carbs or more, keep the fucking crap to a minimum. You know what I mean? On time, I really try to fit skinny cows and crap in my diet. It's when I'm on a refeed day and I'm getting like 400 grams of carbs or more. Other than that, as you see, when I'm cutting, I keep my diet very basic. And I honestly don't feel the need to eat Pop Tarts and uh, cereal and other less nutrient shit when I'm cutting because there are so many healthy alternatives. Have y'all ever seen my Cooking with Chris videos? I got banana pancakes, waffles, and all kinds of shit. There's no need to fuck up your diet with all this crap. You know, you need to get your non-essential fats, your essential fats, a little bit of saturated fats for your hormones. I mean, I can go on forever. It is. It will save you a lot less heartache and a lot less guesswork just keeping your diet simply basic unless you're one of these guys who are cutting on 300 grams of carbs or more because chances are if you're cutting on 300 grams of carbs or more you're already hitting your fiber and your micronutrients and you can fit in a couple of skinny cows you can fit in a couple of bowls of cereal a day and still get lean and still keep your blood working shit right but if you're not getting very many carbs if you're not getting very many calories keep your diet simple and basic and save it for the cheat days save it for the refeed days and to answer your question about my meal plans yes my meal plans is just the way I preach. They're very simple and basic, but I throw in some cooking with crisp recipes in that bitch. Anybody who's ever got my meal plans, I got the taco salad in that bitch. I got the fucking banana pancakes in that bitch. I got the healthy burger in there. You know, I keep your taste buds excited because as for me and may not know, the reason why a lot of y'all are fat, the reason why I get fat, the reason why Bruno gets fat, is because food tastes good. So it makes no sense to put you on a diet if the food doesn't taste good. But just because the food is healthy doesn't mean it can't taste good. That's why I keep posting these recipes and be looking out for more recipes videos I got coming real soon. I actually got a Philly cheesesteak video coming for y'all very soon. Be looking out for that. Now, thank you for your video once again. Let's go to the next. your boy Kevin, Houston, Texas. Okay, so I've been dieting slash bulking eating right, working out for about two years, seriously. Um, you, one of your, your videos actually inspired me to start working out and I started following a lot of your stuff. Um, my question is to you though, from being a fat kid from when I was younger, losing a lot of weight, I have a lot of excess skin, so I should lose skin that I really don't like and don't want. I was wondering if you could, if you have any solutions to this. Right here, loose skin on my chest. Here. Really fucking hate it. This is some bullshit. I hate it so much. Without this loose skin, I think I would just look so much better. Also, I was wondering if I have any potential. You know, I'm 5'5, five, five, 18 years old, moving on to 19. All natural, baby. Keeping it real. Um, yeah, I'd like you to take my physique, please. My legs, I do it with my legs. I'm not a hippie, motherfucker. I 
if you can see, it's kind of hard to show you. Calves. As again, I said I'm about 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, I want to look like the man himself, Chris Jones. It's one of my goals. Holla back at your boy. All you right, my brother Kevin. He's out there representing that H-Town. Shout out to everybody out in that H-Town, man. Um, let me go ahead and answer your question. Now, keep in mind, this is the uh, Beast Mode show. We keep it 100% real. We don't sell dreams. We don't tell you what sounds good. I'm not Richard fucking Simmons, man. I keep it 100. Um, that is not loose skin, man. Um, let me show you a clip of how I looked when I was 225 pounds. I'm going to show it on the screen right now. Now, as you see, you know, I'm real smooth and fat looking. And let me tell you, we look pretty similar. Of course, I'm a little fatter than what you're looking like now. But you get the point what I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is I've seen a lot of bodies, man. And that is not loose skin. You didn't need to lose some fucking fat. That's loose fat, not loose skin. Now, I'm going to have to suggest for you, man, that you get leaner. You know, you're a young guy, you know, and I, I most of the young guys I fuck with, I like to see them bulk. You know, I like to see you make gains while you can. You make some of the best gains when you're young, that's when your testosterone is through the fucking roof. Probably wake up with a heart on, you got libido out the ass. Best time to make some gains. However, when you did the most muscular pose, I noticed you had a little squishy nipple action going on. Now, I'm hoping that's just your fat distribution. Because when I get fat, I get puffy nipples too. You know, I'm really hoping that's not gyno. I don't think that's gyno. I think that's just the way your body stores fat. Some people store fat differently. Some people store fat in their chest. Some people store it in their arms. Some people store it in their ass and love handles. I mean, we all have different genetics. You know, so I would love for you to go ahead and get whole ready, man. Fuck whatever you're doing right now. Fuck it. Fuck the winter. Fuck the summer. Who gives a fuck? Right now, I want to see you get whole ready. I want you to get under 10% body fat. Get all that shit up off of you. Actually, man, if you would like some help on macro coaching, I'll even do you free of charge. I'm going to reward you with free macro coaching for the simple fact you helped me jump my show off. You know, if you don't believe me, I think this shit is easy, man. You know, I wonder why I don't do these shows much often because a lot of people are scared. Y'all are scared to get trolled. I'm telling you, I will block the trolls. Send your videos, man. It's like a family type channel. We just want to help people. But yeah. I'll give you a free macro coaching if you want it, man. I want to see you get a whole ready. Get that shit up off of you. That is not loose skin. Your body fat is just high. You know, that's all it is. You don't have one cut. When you turned around and flex your back, you didn't have one cut. Not one. You know what I'm saying? So that's a, give, a telltale sign right there. You just need to get your body fat percentage down. Get it to 10% and under. Like I said, I'll help you out. Once you get your body fat percentage down, go on a smart uh, bulk. You know, strategize your bulk. Don't just go on a full-blown, dirty bulk, Chris Jones style. Take your time in bulk because you're still young and, you know, you don't have the muscle mass to back up a dirty bulk. See, people don't realize when I dirty bulk, I have muscle mass, you know. For my height and weight, I'm a little overweight. You know, I have extra, I have more muscle than the average five foot seven guy. So when I cut, it doesn't take me long to cut because the more muscle you have, the better your metabolism, the easier it is to cut. You know, if you're just starting out, you've only, been listening, you've only been lifting two years, you don't have the size and maturity to do a dirty bulk like that and get away with it. So, definitely want to do a smart, lean bulk once you get cut. But to answer your question, that is not loose skin. You just need to go ahead and get whole ready. Let me help you if you want it. Email me. The email is askbeastmode at hotmail.com. And I know a lot of you guys are probably watching right now like, oh, you give me some free. No, I'm talking to Kevin. You want free uh free macro coaching, Kevin? I got you, brother. Just go ahead and email me, okay? And that's all, man. Mwah. Thanks, you guys, for watching. More shows coming. Don't forget to like my shit. Comment, subscribe. Holla back at you, boy.